With my hood up, I look like a terrible version of Fetus Justin Bieber. Do I? No, I don't. Why did I say that? I just got a text. I'm well popular. Hello there, you wonderful person. So, a thing I have on my channel is where I read fan fiction, and I'm just gonna get straight into it. Is the hamster fic? Bear with me one second. I'm gonna do my thumbnail picture. So, I've got to like get in the right acting. I'll do it on this side in case I mess up in the edit. Right, okay, let's get on with it. That really hurt my face. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. But I hate it. I hate that song. It's everywhere. I'm in a sassy mood because just drama. The last time I, yeah, I uploaded a video, I was like all sort of sad and stuff. And about an hour after I uploaded that video, my girlfriend broke up with me. So, single boy reads fan fiction. Hashtag help me. Major warning. Always good to read. Major warning. Makes things exciting. I'm not sure if you can hear the rain, but like, can you stop please? Thank you. There we go, I'll sort it out with it. Sam, god of the weather. Major warning, this is the most horrible fic in the world. It is worse than the chair, skin, milk and kitten pics. So, major, major, major warning, okay? Okay. Here we go. Welcome to Sam's Bedtime Stories. The hat fic. Hey Dan. Can we get a hamster? I always wanted one, but my roommate never thought that we would look after it very well. Phil, we've already talked about this. We wouldn't look after it properly. You can hardly look after yourself, he retorted. Sassy Dan there. Damn, Daniel. Sorry. It wasn't really in an angry way, but he never re but he never even took into account that I was older than him, and I lived by myself even before him, so getting a hamster wouldn't really be that bad. I decided not to argue. Dan was stubborn, and I wouldn't change his mind. My hamster was one of the best things I've ever done. Done. What, you've done your hamster? Oh my god, if this is, if this is bestiality, then, like... I said that really loudly. I don't think bestiality is a good word to shout in your grandparents' house. My hamster was one of the best things I've ever done. Well, that's what I thought. Ah, cliffhanger. That's good. I like that. What am I doing? I got home and shouted to Dan. Dan, come and see what I bought. He bounced into the hallway. I hope you didn't bounce a hamster, because that's hamster abuse. That's a serious crime. That's like at least four days in prison. That's the hamster there. He bounced into the hallway at the front door. What's up? I raised the cage with a small ball curled in the corner skills there. The expression on his face changed from a sweet and innocent smile to sick and twisted one. That's my impression of what that is and stuff. He's even got an evil glint in his eye, so that's fun. I love it. I was completely wrong about saying no to getting one. He sounded so genuine, but there was something about the way he said it. It made me feel uneasy. So, what's it called, Dan asked. Can we call him Striker, please? I've always loved that name. I don't know why, but it just sounds cool. Sure, I, I, I'm, I keep on adding things, I'm sorry. Sure, his reply was cold and harsh. What was wrong with him? I shrugged it off and went downstairs into my room. He doesn't say that either. I shrugged it off and went into my room. It was only nine o'clock, but I was tired and fecked a bit ill. I think they meant felt there. I pulled my PJ bottoms on and slipped into bed. I woke up during the night, my body freezing cold and, and was unable to move. I opened my eyes and they were wide with shock. I looked down and I was naked with ropes tying me to a chair. Right. I look a bit like a ghost right now. Yeah, so I was, so I was naked with ropes tying me to a bed. And in the corner was a sinister looking Dan that was also naked. Morning, sleeping beauty. I was wondering how cold the room had to be for you to wake up. His voice sounded so fluffy and innocent. How can a voice sound fluffy? <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs> but the words coming out weren't. He was only wearing his fluffy brown hat. Not the one with the poo in it. I hope not. I really hope not. That that really, that, that fanfic ruined my life. He pulled it off to reveal a small black furry creature sitting in it. Striker. What the? Fudge. 
Look, I don't want to swear. I'm at my grandparents' house. It's, it's not right. Bollocks. <laughs> but reading fan fiction between two famous YouTubers is. So, you know, deal with it. Anyway, what was Dan doing to me? D Dan, what are you doing? Why am I tied up? Why? I stopped. I stopped when he moved towards me. His expression, his expression changed from being happy, like when I woke up, to murderous. Right. Oh, I've just, I've just skimmed a little bit and I've seen the word erect, and the word gag, and the word doggy paddle. Oh Christ! Don't be scared, Phil. We're gonna have some fun with Striker. We're gonna have some fun with Striker. He cackled, menacingly. They spelt menacing wrong. They spelt it like men is singly, which does sound like me menacingly, so I'm not going to deduct points for that spelling. Well done, Bastille Pastel face. And showed off his erect member, making mine start to rise. He put the hat down with Stryker still in there and faced it with his length, the perfect height to aim into it. Dan, what are you doing? Please stop. But I think that's what we're all thinking right now, not gonna lie, Phil. He stormed over to me and gave me a rough kiss. Everything will be okay, I promise. Dan grabbed a gag from behind me and put it over my mouth. He walked over to the hat and began to stroke, looking over me as he did so. After, after a short time, his seed exploded into the hat. But he didn't stop there. He kept... What? He kept on going until the hat was filled up to the top. Oh my god. So, basically, Dan has ejaculated in a hat. So that, so that the ejaculate is up to the top of the hat. I don't know why I did it for that one, I'm sorry. But the hamster is still in the hat. So it's just swimming around in semen. The white liquid was nearly spilling over the top, and my poor hamster was barely able to breathe. <laughs> it was doing the doggy paddle, just started just to survive, and all I could do was sit and watch. Dan grabbed the hamster's head and pushed it down into his... <gasps> oh my god. Dan grabbed, Dan grabbed the hamster's head and pushed it down into his own sperm. After five minutes of his sick games, he pulled it back up, dead. He snapped the hamster's head off and... Oh, and... The neck bones shattering and making me mumble that was supposed to be a scream. Tears flowed down my face and he squeezed the blood off Stryker into the hat. He looked over at me, he was sick and twisted, but also kind of sexy. Mate, he's just fucking coming... At Mate, he's just come in a hat, right? And he's twisted the hamster's head off and pulled blood into the hat and stuff. But he's sexy, so it's okay. He picked up the hat and moved towards me. Oh my God, he's not gonna... Oh, oh my God, no, he's... Oh my God, right, okay, I'm gonna read this slowly because I'm terrified. He picked up the hat and moved towards me, and with one hand undid the gag. Open wide, he said in a sarcastic tone. I did as I was told. I didn't know what else was hiding behind me. He began to pour the sperm and hamster blood mixture into my mouth, only for me to realise he had put my poor striker back in there, head and body. The fluid tasted disgusting, partly because it had gone cold. And also because I knew I was drinking my hamster's blood. <laughs> Where else would you find that kind of sentence? He pulled back halfway through, not that I'm complaining, and said, Good little Phil, good little Phil, do I taste nice? My eyes widened. What do I say? No. I was about to open my mouth when he slapped me. Speak, bitch. <laughs> I wanted to raise my hand to my face. My cold face stung when his hot, sticky hand touched it. You taste amazing, Dan. I managed to choke out. Yeah, I do. Time for more fun. I didn't like where this was going. He pulled back, he pulled the black body that was coated in white from the hat. Dan rammed it down my throat, causing my gag reflexes to kick in. And I vomited all down myself. Mm, nice. 
Dan smirked at this and got on his knees. He began to lick all over me. His soft tongue was gliding all over me until it found its way to my throbbing erection. He started at the tip, working it all. I'm not going to read the blowjob bit. Essentially, he gives him a blowjob. You know, casual Dan and Phil stuff there. Promise me you won't run. He sounded so sorry, so I nodded. He got up, untied me. He grabbed my shoulders. I'm going to lie on the floor, and you are going to pull the rest of the hat on me, then lick it off, okay? He growled. Sweet, loving Dan was gone then. I did as I was told, began to lick it off him. The mixture wasn't as bad the second time. I think it's because I'm not having it forced down my throat, fair enough. Suck me off, Phil. I keep looking over there, right, because my door is over there. Like, there. And it's, like, if they go upstairs, they're going to hear me. And I don't want that. It sounded so weird, but yet again, I did as I was told. I wasn't as good as him. I could only fit half of it in my mouth. Before I felt sick, of course. You know, I have that problem all the time. When you say stop, I will. But only if you think you've done good enough. I started to shake and tremble, but Dan put his arm around me. It's okay, it won't be as bad. He hushed me. He was so much nicer again. Yes, Dan, I stuttered out. He quickly rolled... Yes, Dan, I stuttered out. He, quick... he quickly rolled me onto my front, his hand placed on the top of my back, pinning me down. His ham... The hamster's head... The hamster's head in his other hand, nearing my rectum. I know where this is going. It literally says right there, I know where this is going. Right, um, okay, so I'm on, I'm on the last bit now. Um, this will be fun. The last bit of the fan fiction is always the best bit because it ends. He rammed it in with no hesitation and the burning sensation spread throughout my body. For the rest of it, he used his manhood to push it in. I wanted to say stop, but he wouldn't. I know it. Finally it got too much and I screamed out stop. I looked back at Dan, da Dan? <laughs> I looked back at Dan, who just grinned. Come on Phil, I know you can do better than that. He forcefully went in further. Not quite all the way though. Dan please, I'm begging you to stop. It's so sore, I pleaded. The burning sensation turning into a stabbing feeling. Dan stroked my hair and gently pulled out of me. The hamster's head was still inside me. The hamster's head was still inside him. <laughs> it felt horrible knowing I had a dead animal's head sitting inside my intestines. I bet it did, Phil. I bet it did. Dan put his head inside me. Oh no, hand inside me. It's alright guys, don't worry. Dan is, not, Dan is not that scary. Dan put his hand inside me. That's still, that's still bad though, isn't it? I cried out in pain. I felt like exploding. He finally showed me his hand with the head in it. I wish the torture was over. I knew Dan would have other plans, but this time he didn't, and just wrapped his arm around me and said, let's go to bed. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna try and forget all the other stuff now. I leaned in for a kiss, and so did he. <laughs> we walked back down into my room. When we got in, he pushed me onto the bed. I thought he was going to want sex but he was so caring and just spooned me until he fell asleep. So the last four lines of this wonderful fanfic are I woke up to find Dan with the hamster's body and head in his mouth. Wonderful. Chewing violently, bones snapping and crunching under his teeth. He had blood dripping from his chin. He crawled over to me and I licked it off for him. He grinned as though I read his thoughts. And he finished eating, and every month we buy a hamster. <laughs> if you enjoyed that video, then please let me know. I look like I'm a dwarf right now, it's because I'm on my knees, because I'm about to eat a hamster. If you guys want me to read other fan fictions, then please let me know. I've read quite a few now, but I'll make a playlist of all of them and I'll put that link in the description below and stuff or I'll put this video in the playlist and yeah. Thanks for watching and goodbye.